This lesser known Disney school has been in the shadows just biding their time. Monsters University is always getting praise. They have the better scares, the better team, the better coach in Mike Wazowski. Heck, even King Sponge called them up to the FBS and won a national championship with them first just a few weeks back. Everyone has heard it before. Quite frankly, over here, we're tired of hearing it because this time it's different. We are Fear Tech. Fear Tech is all about striking fear into the opposition. Led by our mascot, Archie the Scare Pig, we will burn opponents to a bacon crisp. Ranking second place in all major university categories in Monstropolis, the one thing we won't be second at is football. To ensure this Hank the Tank nap is back. Coaching at his alma mater and ready to show the world why Fear Tech is superior than Monsters University. On paper, this team needs a rebuild, but mark my words, in a few years will be competitive. While MU is securing guys like Micah Hicks, Micah Hale, Tracy Hurley, LaMarcus Avant, and Clayton Dossi, your eyes don't deceive you. They have five true freshman elite dev traits. Mike Wazowski got busy, but we see glimpses in our young guys too. Elijah Fear, Jerron Sunday. No one's got a fullback quite like us, Demarcus Gaskins, Dion Hardscrabble, Archie Jackson, Keelan Bacon. Ah oh, man, who am I kidding? We got work to do. Even though we're the lesser Disney school, just having the Disney name brand will attract talent from across the nation, it looks like. We would love nothing more than to recruit guys like Tori Swoop to embrace their scary side at Fear Tech. I'm just going to come out and say it. The prestige is really high for the start of a year one rebuild. Because, P.S., we replaced a one and a half star team. Simmed one year ahead to deplenish the roster. And I guess you can just call it the Disney effect. Obviously, the plus side is the fact that we have access to a lot of recruits. And that should help us get some ground in the recruiting front. But the bad news is we're still one of the worst teams in college football. So the prestige can go right down the chute. Because of the abundant access to resources, Hank the Tank is looking to one up MU. With a knack for recruiting, he has his eyes set on finishing this rebuild in four years. A couple master motivators in Jonathan Gray and Eric Ewing, there is no rest for this team. The Scare Pigs are starting off their campaign against Eastern Michigan before traveling to Clemson and then getting a heavy dose of American Conference play where the team will face Mr. Popular, Monsters University. If you don't believe me when I say Fear Tech's roster is pretty rough, well, just look at the all-conference list. MU had a couple guys and even more on the second team all-conference list. Funny, no bids for Fear Tech. And and as shown earlier, MU is attracting all of the top scaring talent, so we're at a massive disadvantage for elite freshmen. We can add some elite talent if we can land guys like Nick Averill, 99 speed receiver with gold shifty. Even though Swoop is technically a bust, this is a talented guy to add to the team. This is where the fun begins. Eastern Michigan headed into Monstropolis to take on the Scare Pigs. And I want to take a second to shout out the creator of this team builder. You can find their username in the description, so you can also look it up and do a Fear Tech rebuild as well. A look at the drip pretty straightforward home orange and black all white away blackout alternates all orange and i really like this second set of alternates where they have the actual archie scare pig logo on the helmet when you mix and match you can make some pretty fun combos and so the fun begins with elijah fear at the helm scanning across the middle he got it off that's mcpherson big first down. We love being counted out. The underdog, a David and Goliath story, hard work, determination, all the things that will matter when it comes time to make our run. And well, a lot of good coaching from Hank the Tank. Need his guidance to go the distance. And I need Elijah Fear to stop sailing one into the middle of next week. That was atrociously off target in a pick six for Eastern Michigan. That is how the rebuild begins. Play action, fake to Sunday, gonna get absolutely destroyed. Yeah, I can tell this team's not looking good. Eastern Michigan is giving us a run for the money and I can't hit the broad side of a barn. Luckily, a PI should help us out here. Thank you, sir. And instead of fourth and goal, it's first and goal. Wildcat formation, sweep over to Johnson. We're on the board. Let's just hand it off to Sunday. Let him jump over the defenders. Couldn't fall in. Dang, I surely thought that was going to be textbook. Instead, we'll just settle for three points and shank it wide right. Archie the scare pig holding down the middle of the field. McPherson showing off for Fear Tech. The pride of the fans, man. They're just showing up big today. It may be raining, but Jasmine. McPherson is gonna strike fear on the this play. I think the Eastern Mission guy just ate it. Whether he was tripping in the rain or not, that's not our problem. We're on the board and we're looking for more. After we're through with this rebuild, I guarantee you Disney is gonna need to make a separate movie for Fear Tech. Do that and a little collab with Monsters University and I guarantee you, you got yourself another box office banger and heck, you can highlight the Fear Tech football team while you're at it. Elijah Fear, what a scramble drill play hitting big old 89. I just 
just have to run it back again. Play action, looking, surveying, no one available, scrambling around in circles, gets it off while getting hit, and he came down with it. Execution on point, man. On paper, this team's worse than Eastern Michigan, so we need all the cushion we can get. And this is what I'm talking about, down a touchdown, 28-21. Third quarter action. There we go. We have an open McPherson. I don't know why the quarterback keeps throwing it behind him. Is it the rain? Is it an inexperienced quarterback? We'll need to figure it out and address those questions in the coming weeks. Ain't no way we're going to settle for three. I know it's early, but if someone can just break through that mesh, unbelievable. The bunch up debacle is not going to come back to bite us. We have new life here and he gets bunched up again. I'm waiting for the spring. What is going on with the line? They need to get off their man turned over. I know Hank the Tank set an ambitious goal to win the Natty in four years, but I'm telling you guys, this team does not feel ready. That's kind of a no-duh statement, as it's only year one of the build, but let's just say there are holes everywhere. Most of the starting bunch feels like they need to be replaced. We need new monsters. We need some of that MU type scary. Yes, we're rivals, but I can respect the talent they bring into their scaring school, just like they're going to respect us once we climb and ascend to the college football ladder. 28 apiece. It's soggy and wet out here, and that punt was a reflection of that. That was a interesting, interesting kick. I don't know if it got tipped or something, but we have the ball in practically the field goal range. One play here, one play there. We're already in position if hard scrabble could just hold on. Third and 12, just need to pick up some key yards and that's going to work to blanks. 47 yard field goal. Didn't have a good chance to evaluate our kicker, but no time like the present. Let's go ahead and nail this thing. Great accuracy, decent power. Is it going to get through? It will in the rain. That was a big kick from Kelly. Fear Tech on top 31-28. Relying on the defense here. They need to step up and finish this game off. Fear Tech doesn't discriminate. We got Mo Bamba blaring. It's all good. Monster School or Human School. We like that song. Third and four, nine seconds left in the game. Just don't want to give up the big play. And that should get us in a good spot. The throwaway practically guarantees they have to go for it here on fourth and four taking a shot deep to the end zone incomplete scare pigs win this one hank the tank loving it one and oh in his coaching career but i have to warn him i don't think we're gonna get too many wins the rest of this season not really running away with anyone on the recruiting front i would love to get lamarcus trusty as our trusty friend at the quarterback position so i set him up with a week four visit also did that with nick averill because i'm not messing around with 99 speeds on the table restrained by the number of hours we can send to a prospect we're gonna quickly switch over house to hard sell and it's good to see fear tech rank so high in a lot of grades the first domino on the recruiting board has fallen it's a scary sight for anyone that takes a look at this Fear Tech signee. And look who's going to be lobbing him up balls. His trusty friend, LaMarcus Trusty. A one-two punch for the ages right here. That's it, folks. Why do we need anyone else when we just got those two guys? All right, I'm obviously kidding around. Unfortunately, we lose Tory Swoop, so I'm going to remove him from the board. And let's see if we can get back in the battle for guys like Ross Wilbur. Hard sell the clutch. And then our next bet, if we're looking for imminent results, we should get him out here against Charlotte. So let's have Ross meet the alumni. An old scaring reunion. I think I'm coming to terms that it might be too late for Little John. Not just too late for Little John. We lost Enrique Jamerson. And well, yeah, Little John did us dirty. No need to count on their visits anymore. Let's give it out. After the two big hits, we've lost so many guys just narrowly. Only fitting we just found David Bacon in our search. No one really going after him. So we definitely will. Just don't tell Archie the scare pig. Despite a lack of recruits in terms of quantity, year one has been going pretty well for Hank the Tank. Got his first win. Then dominated the Pandas after losing to Clemson dropped one to Navy by one before winning by one against North Texas. USF Army also fell by way of Fear Tech. And then number 11 Charlotte out here keeps the perfect season alive. Charlotte definitely a surprise team 7-0, but this is great. Fear Tech and MU right next to each other on the board. Let's hope Fear Tech's game is sharp because we're taking on MU this week. Sean Branson also commits. So we literally just have four five stars and that's it right now. Massive underdogs against MU. We have to defend the home turf. It's monsters versus scare pigs and this is what dreams are made of Disney edition. Despite a lopsided mismatch here between the monsters and scare pigs, our team has heart and fear is going to strike fear in to monsters university land. Great first play here. 
Gonna step up, shed a sack, and get dumped. This is an exciting atmosphere. Everyone knows what's at stake. It's for the Scarers Cup, awarded to the team that wins the rivalry game each year. Hank the Tank wants to prove his team is not just a laughing stock, that we too can play some ball, and that is a strip sack fumble. That thing just hung up in the air for a while. Now on third and 27, we can take a shot but we can't even get it off. Fourth and 38, gonna just let it fly. I know this is a bit redonkulous, not a shot. There's the madman, Hank the Tank, thought he could make it work. Third and five, we're looking to keep the receivers in front here and down he goes, huge sack. Let's go, Fear Tech, Scare Pigs, strike back. Reginald, the freshman, gets his name on the board. They scare because they care. We scare because, well, we're just mean like that and we have a hunger, thirst for victory even. Both schools looking at bull eligibility more likely than not. So let's see if we can go ahead and pad our record. There is a new scaring school in town and that's what I'm talking about. It's gonna be a fight all the way till the very end. Our fourth down did not pay out. Two minute drill still scoreless in the big rivalry game. Maybe the speedster cutting across the middle of the field. No, deflected. Fear, I'm gonna need you to dial something up. And what he dials up is a ball down the middle. Dropped. Feeling threatened here by MU. 20 seconds left. Just lobs one up. Short at the one. They're out of timeout, so if we can just make one more stop, that'll be great. Well, of course, not including incomplete passes. Fourth and goal. The game is shaping up to be 3-0 at halftime. Nail biter, defensive stand. This is what rivalry games are all about. Third and 22. He has all day to throw in. Are you kidding me? Someone has to get home on the Monsters University offense. There is no good reason why everyone should be standing around not forcing any pressure. And MU says it's time they pad the lead. Architecting a drive down into the red zone. It's a handoff to Sunday, six yards. Third down. I don't know what to do. So let's just eat a sack. Pause, not like that. That sounded pretty sus. And thankfully we nail our three point attempt. Fear knows this could be his last chance. Let's go get ourselves a touchdown. Bro, these monster defensive linemen are just plain mean, man. We can't catch a break. Air mail and one out of bounds. Literally fourth and 20. Gonna have to just chuck one up. Anyone, oh, we missed someone. R1 just cooked his dude. I was looking at the other half of the field before I realized, and by that point, it was too late. Victory formation, MU squeaks out this one. 17 to nine, they're hyped up. Mike Wazowski, you have this one, but mark my words, Hank the Tank is coming for you. Towards the end of the season here, we just got Antoine Wells. And yeah, we haven't had many quantity, but they all have been quality guys. Just wanna note, it's also all offense here at the top. Two receivers, two quarterbacks, and a tight end. Potentially all day one starters on this team. Finally getting some help on defense, it's three-star Cordell Karstens. Six and six at the end of year one, our championship contender grade just went down the tubes. And I'm at risk of losing a handful of solid players. I think I'll keep the offensive coordinator, but I'm gonna fire Eric on the defensive side of the ball. A big reason why is the defense had no star contributors. The offense keeps stacking. Gem, tight end, bacon, gonna play for Archie the Pig. All said and done, we still got an invite to the Scooters Frisco Bowl against Mississippi State. Okay. Former head coach for Colorado State would be a good fit at defensive coordinator. Primary motivator, secondary recruiter. Early signing day, MU outdoes us again. 16th best class, we fall to 43. Somehow Rice and North Texas were able to secure a five star. Advancing into the next week, good news is we were able to hang with Mississippi State and beat them. This year's national championship game went to OT. Ohio State walks away 40 to 37 victorious. Championship contender is the biggest deal breaker I'm seeing. Can't let Jerron Sunday walk. Please stay. Demarcus Gaskins, I gassed you up at the beginning of the season and our fullback is staying. Kilgo with low odds also stays. Now we got a batch of medium persuasion. Shaq Strong staying. Sophomore Stockton. Yes. James Fortune also staying. And with one persuasion chance left, I think I'm going to have to go with freshman Shepley. And we got him. It's actually pretty good news that I'm only losing one good player rather than like six. Prestige took a major hit, but that's not going to stop Hank the Tank from spreading the mission. It just makes the tank even hungrier. A lot of three-star transfers that we can target and a lot of good ones at that. Recruiting hours cut in half. We still need to do everything that we can to bring in the guys we want. Bringing in a few difference makers like Cam Franklin. And man, we got to finish the job in this last week. Curtis Perry, Caleb Bryant, Robbie Harrison, David Boosie, Cam 
from east. Six solid guys joining the ranks. Literally just had to one-up Monsters University. We leapfrog their 16th spot to 15. The first class is always so important in a rebuild, so get used to these names, Trusty, Sharp, Branson, and Averill. Not to mention Wells and Bacon. Excited to see what these group of guys can turn into. Wow, Hank the Tank got in there and did not fail to impress. 84 overall across the board. Training results looking really good. Usually most coaches like to get spicy and consider something like tactician, but Hank the Tank is a motivator at heart. He puts in work and stays locked in. Keeping our offensive coordinator was a great investment because now he has his hands across the master motivator archetype. Well, let me backstep. He had it, but after one year of coaching, he's been able to expand his reach. Four for four in the passing game, quarterbacks start off with a composure boost. As big of a difference one year makes, MU guys are littered across the first team and second team conference list. Still no fear tech. They too took a significant year to leap and man, they just keep getting better. The scare pigs hit the jackpot with Branson. 79 overall elite dev. And then what about LaMarcus Trusty we talked so much about? 73 overall elite. I just noticed something too. This man was advertised to have Platinum Magician, but he got downgraded to Silver coming into his first year of college. Branson actually got upgraded to Gold Magician, so he's going to be the starter. I didn't know it was going to be volatile like that. At least Nick Averill was as advertised in a top the depth chart. 99 speed impact with gold shifty, which will help him change direction on a dime. Frank Sharp, my boy, looking sharp. Bacon is a star of the show, and this is hands down the most fitting player to have on the Scare Pigs roster. Now that the depth chart is reflected accurately, and man, ain't no way we can put backup quarterback in at receiver. Heck, I'm all for it. Casually making my way through the depth chart, and I just noticed that we have a 99 overall tight end if we want him. Because of that recent discovery, I would be a fool not to equip our team with a 99 overall tight end, six foot seven, 300 pound target. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot we have a bacon on defense too. Love it. Well, I was already excited, but now I'm geeked up for year two. You're going to witness a whole new offense when we take on Army in our first matchup. A little Frisco Bowl rematch in week five, and then this time we're on the road to take on Monsters University. Remember when we had the luxury of picking everyone out of the recruiting board in year number one? That was the Disney brand effect, but it looks like Disney's magic is wearing off just a little bit. Do not fear because Fear Tech will be right back up in this thing when we just go ahead and start winning more ball games. If your name is Ben Speed and you're a deep threat receiver, you better have 98 plus speed, no exceptions. Can confirm Ben Speed is speedy, 98 speed. A glance at the board, I definitely like Jaleel Gibbs, five star gem running back, power back tendency, 93 speed, good attributes. Ramon Sands, another locked in elite development trait, 91 speed, 93 excel right outside linebacker. Little three star gem find here in Justice Waiters, but I think while we have momentum on receivers, let's also go for Austin Blue and Ben Speed to 97 plus deep threats. We had good luck last year, why not this year as well? It's time to see the year two glow up in action against the Army Black Knights. Wearing the white away uniforms, every starting receiver, tight end, running back, quarterback, it's all gonna be different. I don't know too much about Army. All I know is they went one and 11 last year, so I think Fear Tech should be the favorite. Fear Tech still salutes service, and unfortunately, we're just gonna have to give them an L on top. Looking to stop them here on third down. It's just a hand up off the gut, and that did not look promising for their opening drive. Branson now in the game, 99 overall tight end, the big boy. Let's just go ahead and throw it up to him, see what he's about. He hauls it in. Successful first passing catch from Branson, and I'm excited to see what this team can do throughout the game. They're sharp. Collegiate first all over the place. Now let's go ahead and go with a play action, scramble out to our right, and look who's open. It's 99 overall Wesley. This is crazy how successful we're off to with Wesley out here. And then can't forget the rest of the group out here. We got plenty of options and that was the wrong number we dialed up. Hilton, Sharp, Averill. I see green on the left side of the field. So let's go ahead and test our 99 speed weapon. First play to him, touchdown. It's gonna be glitchy. Regardless what difficulty it's on, 99 speed is just a menace on the field. Can also take a look at Bacon, the other tight end snagging that one fourth and inches running back in motion just gonna take it out to johnson and that's the first so far so good from branson let's just go back to the big sure-handed target wesley's on fire and when he's in the tight end position he's like another offense alignment out there so whenever we run a run play it's gonna be cheesy 
just like his route running ability too. An offensive lineman with 80 speed translating over in the biggest way here at the tight end spot. Scrambling out. Yeah, he's got 92 speed for a reason, picking up the first. I just realized that our quarterback is not in the game at receiver. He suddenly poofed into a zero overall. I'm not kidding. That's actually what the depth chart showed. So at least we got our tight end 99 overall. Second and goal, wildcat formation, jet sweep to perfection. We're on the board again. That flag's gotta be on Army. Offsides, declining that, so I'm not sure why Army's celebrating. Touchdown. Such an odd score right now, 22 to eight. It's a big fourth down and they pick it up. Fourth and five, can't let him pick it up two times in a row on the same drive. Jackson steps in front, intercepts, and he is gonna go all the way no drag down for as scary as fear tech is sometimes they still make silly blunders and talk about a silly blunder from army turning the ball over at our one yard line let's go ahead and plunge it in for six i said let's go ahead and plunge it in for six i said let's go ahead and plunge it in for six thank you army back against their heels they're gonna pick it up but it's over i'm saying that with confidence because with only a minute 30 left and a crucial interception here to york the third you weren't going to go nowhere. All in all, solid performance from Branson today. I want to go ahead and get one more shot with him just to get a feel for the new toys. Averill again. Don't be silly. Let's take the easy one. 99 speed. Lob it up his way. If the quarterback can just remember who he's got on the outsides, I think we'll be in great shape all season long. Crispy performance from Bacon, defensive player of the week in the American. Fans at Fear Tech say, in Hank, we trust. As we're letting him start working his magic on these five-star prospects. I only got five points in Justice Waiters. Simply can't afford more, but I saw that our two quarterbacks we just brought in are in danger of hitting the transfer portal. I swear that is the last thing this team needs. This is what I'm talking about. Branson and Trusty just got here and they're thinking about leaving. Shoot, looking at these panels in general, a lot of people are thinking about leaving. So this is a more pivotal year than I originally anticipated. Only year two, we need results now, and Sean Branson's giving it to us. Five touchdown passes, 380 yards. Frank Sharp came down with an injury. Hate to see that, but 224 yards and three touchdowns. Unfreaking believable. Broken tailbone, 13 weeks out. He's gone for the rest of the year, and he's been popping off through two games. Ramon Sands, five-star gem linebacker, and it looks like we lost lost Gibbs to Michigan. Man, we had this running back down to the final notch. At least we still have 94 speed, platinum safety valve, Bart Cornell. Shifting over to some hard pitches. Insane breakaway here from Hank the Tank. He got his team right ahead of Miami. While those battles continue on, we need to keep an open eye and ear for any other prospects we could swoop in on. I'm learning more and more from the rebuilds I do that high star athlete quarterback builds are actually really good and applicable to so many positions. Like it's not rare for guys like Rashawn beard to be a really good quarterback 96 throw power 89 speed but then again quarterback may be their fifth best position there's four others that actually would apply better look how insanely tight it is for austin blue bart cornell and Ben Speed. There we go, Austin Blue. He joins our squad, but no Cornell or Speed. Unbelievable bad luck, man. I thought for sure Ben Speed was coming home. I guess these guys don't wanna become scares. I think we're losing out on recruits because we're inconsistent, dropping some games here. East Carolina, USF, Charlotte, and Tulsa. Four and four versus a four and five Monsters University team. On paper, we have a slight edge, but it's a huge disadvantage on the road. Gonna need to make a statement because that scaring school right behind us, that is the the gem of Monstropolis, at least for now, until we can go ahead and show them why the football team from Fear Tech is better. They're pressing up one on one on Averill over there. Didn't have time to get it off. A Lamarcus, their elite dev linebacker, took us down on the last one, and we're gonna need to step up and out of there. No. Oh, he can't stand it. Hank the Tank bothered as Mike Wazowski coaches up his team. Wanted to make an opening drive statement. I think we can all agree that was not the way to go about it. This is the way to go about it if we were accurate throwing the ball. Second and 19 over the top to six foot seven. Didn't have enough jump on him. Oh boy, Monsters University, they're schooling us right now, and it's just early in this one. Way to answer back. 97 good sack play action and they got the dump off here to 83 who's going to take it to first and goal let's make sure everyone's got their assignments scrambling out to his right and dumped for a sack fear tech defensive line that's a good hold this one could become a lot more atrocious if we're not strategic about how we go down the field need points and bad imploring on the entire squad to step it up here everyone needs to contribute second and 10 here 
pocket is collapsing. We do spin out of it and now can step up, make a move, pick up the first down. Back at it again to our right. We have a wide open lane. Let's just walk it in touchdown fear tech on the board without a doubt branson is not the reason why this squad is four and four he's actually putting in a really good campaign one that should get some looks from the voting committee i would say and if he keeps making plays like that lock his name in there 30 seconds to go wesley over the middle how did that just get pocketed out I thought that was in Wesley's hands. Calling for a read option here. That's going to work out wonderfully back within three. Branson playing some good football. I'm going to need him to play even better with the game on the line. Wow, Hilton catching and bouncing off. Huge conversion right there. And now we'll go ahead and take it to the major, getting us closer. Third and goal. It's up to this. Out to our right. Right in front of us, it's Costa. Hasta la vista, Costa. When it came down to the final whistle, Monsters University knocks us out. Victory formation, and they pull off a three-point victory. Hank the Tank is steaming. This is the last time we fall to Monsters University. Honestly, when our receiver went down in week two, I knew this year was cooked we go on a losing streak pull one off barely against mizzou and then drop the finale against fau five and seven this is a step back from last year pretty all right recruiting class in my book only a couple five stars but we were able to snag a few three-star gems like cameron draper and latavius flood a couple more like warren lockett in the wings but yeah after going five and seven that's all we can do is look to the future the future might not be as bright as we think if all of our guys just pick up and leave this year's rendition of the playoff bracket clemson takes home the trophy charlotte right from the american conference got in yet again glad to see they're having success and fun with their rebuild and oh boy lamarcus avant first team all american for monsters university all conference bids representing fear tech and war johnson and that's it tony DeLoretto got a second team nod and so did duncan stockton they both want to leave ain't no way frank sharp got a freshman all american bid buddy was injured after week two ah it makes me sick to see so many mu guys i don't want to click this players leaving tab and if there's any good news to take away from this because there's not much it's the fact that our main quarterback decided to stay so thank you i want to convince trusty to please have some trust in the plan hank the tank gets him to stay massive win here who else do we need to convince bucky camp very low it's worth a try bacon wants to go wow now i got a lot of people concerned about the coach prestige i'll start with duncan stockton please all you got to do is ask nicely i'm gonna let the fullback walk it's not worth using one of our persuasion chances but Rick Cordo is, even with very low chance. It paid off. I told you through and through, Hank the Tank knows how to speak to his guys. And there's no shot I let the school mascot walk away. I guess he didn't like me calling him that. I know we're pretty deep at receiver, so I'm going to go ahead and use my last attempt on David Boosie. Sophomore, strong safety. It works. In the transfer portal, we have some premier talent in here, just like left tackle Anthony Miles. Even Mike Froholt from Florida State. A lot of good dudes we can choose from. Looks like Georgia decided to insert themselves and knock us out of the racing for miles we can still go for cu transfer corbin hendricks it's that part of the portal where you just hard sell everyone and cross your fingers and good thing i didn't bite the bait from georgia we still somehow get miles that's amazing and now i can go ahead and welcome in the rest of the guys and there's a lot of them very successful week here in the portal it just doesn't stop we got the cu transfer as well literally just landed 11 guys it's national signing day and we just keep falling behind mu they're on an amazing run 12th best class for them 26th best for us. I still think we can make it work with our motivating coach staff. It's kind of hard to be more motivating than Mike Wazowski, but Hank the Tank loves a challenge. Despite losing some guys in the portal, we gained some guys back, trained them up, and now our team's looking good, 87 overall. This year's even bigger and more important, arguably, to act as the pivotal stepping stone towards the national championship, but better yet, keep all of these players here. The Prove It campaign for Fear Tech starts against UMass, and then they go on the road to Alabama. That's wacky and wild and then of course we'll host MU back on our campus. Although the team is developing nicely, there are a lot of holes we need to fill. So Hank the Tank's gonna keep putting it on, looking for all the nice recruits like Pitts here, 97 speed corner, or Brady McCants, 91 speed, 93 Excel. That's a good user. Some four-star gems like Strickland, or heck, can't neglect the three stars like Colin Batonio, Dion Mills, or Stefan Kindred. Finally getting some first team preseason love, Anwar Johnson, and our guy Sean Branson getting the second team quarterback nod. I believe 
believe we got some future first team all conference players and guys like Owen Godwin, Austin Blue, especially 80 overall elite receiver, Mary Garba, sounds like a Pokemon here, Joey Burwell, and you know I couldn't forget about Ramon Sands, practically a surefire NFL player, 82 overall elite dev. Need those guys to continue to develop as we're off to a quick two and one start. No problem scoring points against UMass or Mississippi State, only losing by one USF. The real test to where we are as a team will come on the road against Alabama. So let's go ahead and see what this year three crew is all about. As they say, roll tide. Alabama has a knack for swarming their opponent like a tidal wave and just blowing them out before they can even get a chance to compete. That is if you're a group of five school like us. Out to prove fear tech is no ordinary group of five school. Branson and the gang are all in. He's going to step up and get the first down. Good job improvising on the last one. Just going to hand it up the middle. No more cheesy 99 overall tight end. We're back to traditional means. Definitely unfortunate that that lineman graduated, but I think we'll be okay with or without. When you're playing Alabama, the number one toughest place to play, you go for it on fourth down and you take your strikes where you can get them. Touchdown. Perfect for Fear Tech. It's McPherson. Holding Bama to a third and six. Going over the middle, just over our linebacker's reach. Yep, safe to say this is going to be a battle. Branson stepping up, third and two, converts to Blanks. Right underneath us is Blanks once more, pushing it closer to the red zone. All the way down outside the 10, handing it off right into the D end. Over the middle, in time to Hendricks. Now fourth and two, this place is rocking. Just going to scramble out right. I think he can get in there. Branson gives us the lead. Back and forth blow for blow. Down by a touchdown, we have an opportunity to even the score before going into halftime. Branson out to his right, just going to dump it underneath the Johnson. Big third down across the middle. There we go. Wells. It is well with him. Some timely connections here. Another slip screen with some blockers in front. Still got all of our timeouts, but let's see if this handoff can get a few more. Going to lead our tight end with this pass. He's got it first and goal. Audible. I don't know if it went through and we're gonna get sacked see if we can go ahead and pick up some of those yards back right in front of us it's blanks three two timeout this doesn't feel right taking three points almost like we should have had the touchdown and we don't even get three points that missed field goal is all the difference right now in the game touchdown gets us right back in it but now we're still losing by three. Third and six it's a qb keeper he's gonna get denied and now a chance here for branson at the end of the game this one has lived up to the height the mission on this fourth down is simple it's an rpo and we're gonna take the slant which we should not have done it gave them easy points in a fourth down just threw one off balance. It was already over down 10, and now it's just gonna look worse on the stat sheet. Bama finishes on top 38-28. After Alabama, Gregory Pitts made up his mind, said this team is on the right path. Hank the Tank knows what he's doing. That's a huge signing. He's a gem and he's got speed. Good news continues here. Brady McCants can't stay away from Fear Tech. Love to see this. A really successful recruiting class continues. And don't look now, Scare Pigs are four and two. Just last week against East Carolina, Nick Averill got scary striking fear in the dbs for 183 and two scores fear tech is finally starting to get some attention six in three at this point hank the tank's done a great job and now he's led us right into a matchup against monsters university mu is ranked 22nd in the nation they started their season with a four game win streak just dropped one to uab and now two bye weeks to refresh they are gonna be a scary unit out there this is arguably the most important showdown to date right here in monstropolis looking to defend fear tech home campus third and ten it's gonna be a fourth down already up three to zero we cannot let them go and get more big sack denial by bryce barton pinning them on a deep third and 16 chunk play here stopped just short thankfully once again this game is a must-have for hank the tank he needs it to prove fear tech can compete oh and two on the series so far let's upset and get one on our column. 0 and 2 is not ideal, but 1 and 2 sounds better than 0 and 3. Textbook drive to get down this field. Mike Wazowski has something special brewing on this Monsters team. But look at Fear Tech's defense just swarm on in there. This is about that time in a rebuild where the rivalry is getting really good, really heated. And normally I like to root for Monsters University, but in this case, I have no allegiance to that school. I don't know anything about them. MU 
can go down in flames, man. I mean, heck, Mike Wazowski, when he was a kid, made up his mind to go to MU, even with the other scares telling him that Fear Tech was superior. If it weren't for that one guy that gave him the hat to MU, I think we might have had a better chance at writing that story. It's important to make a good impression, just like Fear Tech, Branson has made a good impression ever since he stepped foot on campus. That was money on fourth down, and then on the very next play, delivers it to Banks. Let's go to the bank. We're cashing in. This game is far from over, and we need to make these moments right here count. Run him over. Oh, man, that was a hit stick. Johnson lowered the boom. You can tell Johnson's hit was personal, and this is a great stop. Hold on. I need to pause for a second. Fourth and two. It looks like they're going to go for it. Pitch out to the right, cutting it back up the middle. Dang, we sold. It's not over yet. Third and eight. We can make the stop here first and goal. At the one yard line, most teams will score nine out of 10 times. So it was a no brainer. That's exactly what happened on their side of things. 99 speed answer right back. I've been waiting for just the right time to do that. That is an X factor in any rivalry game. Just like that RPO two pointer ties it up. Third and 10, it'll be interesting to see if MU's content with just taking a three point play here or what will they do? Exactly what I thought. Three points. Branson, this is it, my man. I need you to go crazy. Blanks, pulls it in. Avoided danger in a big way right there. 44 seconds left in this one. Gonna let our 99 speedster just get loose. Okay. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. 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 Mike Wazowski just pulled off a miracle. What is up, man? MU is gonna beat us again, and we had him on the ropes. I literally was silent because I was focused, locked into the game, trying to pick up some yards. As you can see here from the replay, dumped it to our running back, did a good job shedding one to two tacklers there, then just got decked, recovered by one all the way to the house. Pain, absolute pain, 47-37 MU. Gonna win again, 3-0 and on the series, even though Branson had a wonderful masterclass of a performance. Player of the week accolades from Averill, 227 and two, but just was not enough to topple MU. Hank the Tank didn't let that heartbreaking loss send us in a spiral. We got right and kept it pumping against UAB and Florida Atlantic. Eight and four is our best season yet, but Rice, MU, Tulane, and North Texas all ranked and did better. The bracket is lined up and Monsters University is in. Mike Wazowski's got his guys in a game against Cincinnati. And then shout out Tulane for making the bracket as well. We're stuck over here with a military bowl against Wake Forest, but I'm telling you, our eyes are set on that national championship run. 20th best class here in the nation, five spots ahead of MU. Best in the American, which teams are surprisingly getting really good over here. Took care of Wake Forest and won another bowl game. Prestige finally getting a jolt of life up another star. In the nick of time, was able to knock off a lot of guys considering transferring. This is massive. Anwar Johnson ever since stepping foot at Fear Tech, outworking the competition, earning first team All-American honors. Look at Anwar, man. So inspirational. Sean Branson, Nick Averill, Cooper Camrose, and Duncan Stockton with first team All-Conference honors. Couple second teamers here in Perry and Weston. Frank Sharp makes the All-Freshman team for the second year in a row. That's right. Red shirt freshman this time. My excitement could not be overstated that Branson staying with the team. 4,000 yards, 42 touchdowns, carried five into the end zone as well. 1,077 rushing yards and 13 rushing touchdowns was good for first team All-American honors here. Nick Averill popped off, my goodness. So did Hendricks, really good season coming over from Boulder. I'm still looking at the defense to tune up as I wanna see some more monster stat lines. Mike Wazowski and the Monsters have our number and they almost had the national championship. 12 in three, they got knocked out just a round prior. We'll go ahead and keep chasing them as we say farewell to Anwar Johnson headed to the NFL draft. Nothing we can do to keep him from his Sunday dreams. Greco, Moore, and Fraholt, on the other hand, all solid players with medium chance to stay. No go on Greco, no go on Moore, so that's a hit. We'll need to look in the portal. Fraholt, the linebacker, does stay. Well, we don't really have many choices here in the portal, so I think we got what we got. End of your training results, Sean Branson is the best player on the team. Since he has the quarterback room on lock, I went and converted quarterback LaMarcus Trusty to a running back. He'll finally be able to see the field. Our five-star receiver recruits are finally ready to block 
awesome. Austin Blue is the best. Frank Sharp injured in the first year, red shirt the second year, now back in the limelight. And then of course, how can you forget about 99 speed Averill? Not many weak links to the team. The only thing I noticed is depth on the offensive line just needs to be addressed. Hank the Tank has been working day and night to create a fear tech program that athletes across the globe want to come to. As much as it pains me to say Mike Wazowski is also doing a great job. They had a national championship run and they're almost maxed out prestige. The number one player in the nation, Ray Klutz, is a gem five star 95 speed receiver. The mission here is simple. Continue to stack the big boys like Kevin Juszczyk and then work with the team that we got to make that playoff run we're craving. Cedric Bly, 96 speed. I'm impressed. Best team yet and toughest test on deck. After Clemson, Tulane, and NC State, traveling to face Monsters University in year four will be a movie. Step by step, we're getting closer to the Scarce Cup. I can almost taste it. Juszczyk, Sharga, two five-star gems, check. Ray Klutz and Phil Sabri, two more five stars, rack them up. Just one week after the other, more gems. Yeah, it's official. This is Fear Tech's best recruiting class of all time. So many gems, so many five stars. Just over halfway through the season, it kicked off with the win against Clemson, dropped it to Tulane, then dropped another close one to ranked NC State. But all in all, man, this team has been on a tear and it's going to make a really fun matchup against MU. Fear Tech has been on such a tear that Sean Branson got player of the week this week and the week prior. Six touchdowns in this one and seven in this most recent game. Performances like that get your name recognized and he is on at the Heisman watch list. Pure determination from Hank the Tank and the Scare Pigs were eighth in the nation, taking on MU ranked 15th. Still needing that elusive first win in this rivalry series. Maybe today will be the day and we gotta close holes like that. Battling it out here in the red zone, third and goal. He scrambles to his left, steps into it, and fits in. Touchdown. Branson, as you've seen, is a man on a mission. Heisman watch list. He wants all the accolades and all the smoke. And on fourth and 16, Branson says, let's go for it. That's right, I'm not crazy. Oh wait, yes I am, stumbling out of a sack and into another. We can go ahead and shake that one off and deliver a dime to Blue, our 90 overall redshirt freshman, cooking up the monsters. The scare pigs have been just biding their time, waiting for the day they can say they are the scariest team in Monstropolis. Oh in three, we need to change it right here, dumping it out to Tangelo. And as I look across the line, we got burners everywhere. Really gotta give credit for the physical defensive line that Mike Wazowski's put together, but he's not gonna be able to stop this blue attack. Got a little cocky, cut up midfield, and we could have had a touchdown if we just played it conservative. Instead, we'll just make it extra for our quarterback, get him another passing touchdown the hard way. With blue on the outside, I swear, all he'll do is make your team feel blue and so will Branson to lock it. That combo just getting started up in here. 28-10 coming out of the first half. No time like the present. Blue blows by his opposition. And now it's 35-10. The scaring school and Monsters University in danger. I'm getting serious flashbacks of a receiver I had on Cuna Kings. Vilma, for all you that know the name, playing oh so similar to Blue right now. He just can't be stopped. Almost like he has that press pro ability. Backups are in and let's get a look at Hawker, the other quarterback that no one really talks about because of that he's unpolished this rivalry game has not been close I'll tell you that it's good to see the backups getting some reps to me it's almost like Hank the Tank had so much anger bottled up inside losing three games to your arch rival will do it to you but he has got to be the happiest man on the planet. Hawker just leading his team right down the field for the icing on the cake. It'll be the first time in the FBS era that Fear Tech will get a win over rival MU. They've definitely done it before in the previous league, but it's more impressive on the bigger stage. No one will ever forget the game-winning Hail Scary when we beat them in the FCS championship, but winning the FBS national championship title is going to feel even so much better. This game feels really good. It got close in the end, but that was because backup we're in. Knocking out Mike Wazowski's ranked team, check. Nine and three, all said and done at the end of year four. Hank the Tank had an ambitious goal to get to a national championship playoff run at the end of year four. I think he can accomplish his mission if this game goes well. Letting the sim take over to determine our fate in the championship game. Has Hank the Tank built our squad quite enough to get to that next stage that we so desire? Two lane, keeping things close. 23-20 down the field. Fear Tech ties it up. Here's a chance. Uh-oh, teams going for the win. Looks like Tulane 
snagged it. And yeah, Tulane made it. We did not. That's unfortunate. As long as Sean Branson doesn't go to the NFL, I think this next year will be that magical run. Player of the year and the Heisman Trophy well earned. Instead of the biggest stage, we're relegated to the Liberty Bowl. Five five stars, three four stars. Our team is future proof. In the playoffs, Tulane beat Georgia, but in the end, it was Michigan State, NC State squaring off. And yeah, one of our worst nightmares here, Branson looking to go to the draft. Extremely low persuasion chance, but you're telling me there's a chance. Did not pay off. We could not hold him from NFL Sundays. Two four-star transfers at the top of our target list. Carney here, 99 short route, 96 speed. He's coming from LSU. Both of them are sophomores, so we got some years to grow with them. Hank the Tank loves it, but he's really concerned about this year and going the distance. And we got him, Emmett Hendy and Tyler Carney just about to commit. We're all set to go on this run. Kept our signing class lean and mean. Hank the Tank knew who he wanted and got him. No quarterback, no problem. Seth Hawker's gotta be the guy. 87 overall, 85 speed, 96 throw power and some good accuracy. LaMarcus trusty 94 overall running back, but clearly the prize jewel of this offense. And they're all still pretty young. Sharp, blue, Averill, and Sandlan, 90 plus overall receivers. Year five outside of UAB, it's a pretty cupcake schedule. Minus Monsters University, of course. I don't think we got much wiggle room and can't afford to lose games if we're trying to get to the natty. Not one, but two Fear Tech All-American receivers. Frank Sharp, Austin Blue. That'll strike fear into any secondary. When you go to first team all conference, the gang's all here. I know we're towards the end of the rebuild, but Kevin Juszczyk, 85 overall elite true freshman. Not alone on the defensive line, Darren Orlando. Also elite dev. So there's two true freshmen that will become some of the best defensive linemen in the nation if we were to go another four years. I really don't know how we lost to UAB. They're seventh in the nation, but taking the rest of the league by storm. Let's go ahead and send this rivalry out in style. Hawkers like one of the only non-stars on this offense. I see Sharp, Sandland, and Blue. Not to mention former cornerback Trusty out here from the running back position. That's not going to stop us from going for it on fourth and 10. Heck no. We got some dogs out here and I thought one of them had it. Can never overlook a rivalry game. This is a big one in a monster sack. Ramon Sands, his second one of the day. I knew that linebacker was trouble when we found him. Six star and he was a disruptor on pass rush as well. 91 speed and a physical specimen. He could play receiver just like one. I feel like Hawker does not have the same scramble ability that our last guy had. At least the defense came to play in this big rivalry matchup because M used defensive line playing some bully ball Thankfully, the one time we get a spare second to throw it out. Can always count on blue to make the opposition feel blue. Thurman, tight end, first and goal. Got me dancing like Uma Thurman. Let's go ahead and finish this drive off to the former quarterback. So good to see Trusty on the gridiron here, scoring touchdowns as the RB1. What a journey he has been on since the five-star quarterback rating in high school. As rivalry games go, we gave him a little bit too much cushion to come back in this. Should have been intentional about taking him out a long time ago. Hawker really has no excuses because when you got weapons on the outside like this, I don't know how you can avoid stat padding. One strike, we're back in it. And now it's fourth and 14. They're going for it. Intercepted by Pitts. The man, the myth, the young gun, Pitts with the dagger. Deja vu. I misspoke. We're going to have to do it again. This time on the other side, it's Dora the Explorer getting the game actual ceiling interception fear tech on top 21 14 wasn't an offensive fest like it would have been with branson but austin blue and co did just enough number four in the nation i think we're practically guaranteed a spot in the playoff bracket but uab is ranked ninth and we're facing off in the championship game they were the only other team to beat us this year hence why they get home field advantage hank the tank has gotten so far i doubt he'll back down now the team is equipped might not have the best quarterback, but you got the best receiver room in the nation, hands down. 21-7, 28-7, 35-14. It's going to be a wraps, man. This Fear Tech squad is prepped and ready for the big show. Don't even have to ask me. The Sim believes. Five touchdowns from sophomore Hawker. That's good stuff. 12 in one season. And would you believe me if I told you back-to-back -back Heisman winners? Seth Hawker. Definitely feels like that needs to be a shared award with the receiver room. Nick Little, Fear Tech, represent best DB 
award. Ain't no way they just slotted me in here the first round after going 12 and one and ranked second in the top 25 poll. I have to play this sorry excuse of a Central Michigan team. Nah, just playing. That's crazy. They rebuilt like that. But seriously, an extra game when I should have had a bye. Hawker season was truly something special. It makes me wonder what Branson would have done with this receiver room. Really not trying to discredit the guy. It's just, come on, man. Look how stacked this was. I got a 99 speed, 90 overall receiver that only had two catches all year because there wasn't enough room. Also saw lockdown stuff out of Dora. Shout out to Ramon Sands for disrupting offenses across the nation. All right, enough praise to go around. Let's take on Central Michigan. At our home court here in Monstropolis, the journey starts now. This quarterback's name is really Paul Paul. That is crazy. And for how wacky that name is, we can't get complacent. Sands again disrupting and getting in his face. Looks like I was really sleeping on this Central Michigan defense. They're doing a great job holding our offense back. We can only stop them so many times for field goals. And next thing you realize, we're down by, what is that, nine? So let's go ahead and get after it. Looking sharp out here when we find sharp all alone and in his own planet. Now 28-23, gonna be working overtime here to keep the lead. And sure, chew clock all the way, why not? Faith in this team, faith in the conversion. Thurman's got it. Putting the ball in Trusty's hands the rest of this way. Let's see if we can break free from the blocks on this next one and cutting up field. He is out of here past midfield. The 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. This is why he converted to running back. When you got speed like that, you don't keep it on a leash. Sending fans in a frenzy. Trusty was out of there, turbo. When I thought we would actually be out of there, out of there, I didn't expect Central Michigan to score in essentially one play, so now it's done, deal. QB Neal, Fear Tech advances, time to play UNLV. Now that we're facing them, I gotta give UNLV their flowers. 13 and 0, that's what's up out the Mountain West. And with an 80 overall team, even more impressive. I guess they have never played someone of our caliber, and it's unfortunate for them that their journey has to come to an end here at the Cotton Bowl. Let's have some fun in this one. Starting the game off play action style. Oh my, Lanta. He was six, seven steps ahead of anyone that was covering him. You've got to be kidding me. I swear the plan was not to just take a deep bomb on the first play of the game, but when it's that wide open, who am I to say no? The only one looking to say no right now is our defense. Need to deny 29 in the running Rebels. Lined up in the bunch wide. Let's see what they have in store on this play. It's all clamped up until he steps up and did it himself. Stretched our defense until they scored. 7-7. Seven, seven. I can tell this is going to be a game that will not come easy. Shepley's about that life. Knock and draft down. Trusty had some monster runs last game. Let's go ahead and feed him the rock and see if he can rack it up. Sharp seems to be a mismatch for this DB, and I'm going to abuse that all game long. You don't put a corner on him that can't cover him. Heck, that might be the best they got. Kudos to them for keeping it interesting, but seriously, the defense is out of line. If you can't fix your secondary, which is a common problem for many defenses, don't worry about it. It's going to be night-night. First and goal just up the middle. Fourth and goal, three points would make it a seven-point game, but a touchdown makes it two possession game, and that's all I needed to hear to try. No reason to stay down with Hank the Tanks group here. Plenty of opportunities to cash in and make a difference. Like this fourth and 17, for example. If I line everyone up, you're telling me not one of them gets through? I doubt it. Just like Blue showed them what a true Blue receiver looks like. 35-17, fourth quarter action. It's wraps and trusty ensures of it. Pack your bags, UNLV. Your perfect season. No more. Fear Tech headed to the semifinals. That's one trophy off the list. Two more to go. Now in the Rose Bowl, we're taking on the number one seed, Oregon Ducks. Always a pesky bunch, and now we gotta take them on at the iconic Rose Bowl. They're pulling up in the drip. Those look so good. It's literally about proving something out here, and just like the last game, deja vu, sharp big catch. I'm telling you, no matter what team we face, it's child's play. Our room is stacked with guys out here. Fumble on the sack. Our guys couldn't have prevented that offensive line blunder. Ducks with some early momentum, and they've parlayed that early momentum into a 14-7 lead. We have to strike back, and we're going to start by going to Sandland. Spreading them out, but dumping it to our running back. Lock it, cutting it upfield, first down, and some. It's going down for real. Someone needs to break free. He caught it. Just a desperation pass that landed in his lap. That's something only a Heisman can do with his guys. I'm telling you. 
bacon. Catch the ball, my dude. Now looking at a third and one. Just going to take a shot to the corner. Blue sliding down, securing the bag. Down by 10. I'm not liking the back and forth that is transpiring right now. We'll at least get in there and make it close. Three-point game. Massive quarter of football right here. Third and seven. He's going for a deep bomb. Intercepted. We got to cash in now. I have to make this the drive of destiny. Down by six. A touchdown and extra point would give us the win. No rush whatsoever. Let's just take our time ensuring one good play after the next. One of the hardest positions here in football. Down by six. Got to milk the clock and get the touchdown. Priority number one obviously is the touchdown. The clock can come second. And now third and inches. The house is coming in. We'll dump it out to Bacon who's got some space to keep it chugging. At any moment we could take a deep shot but I feel like that's too predictable. I want to keep making smart reads and decisions all the way down the field. Just one yard to pick up inside zone. He's got it and some good position to be in. Backup running back Abram comes in. We'll go ahead and give him a tote just for one. 30 seconds left. Still no pressure over here. We got all our timeouts. Not happy with that last blitz. Third and nine. We got a man. It's bacon. Gonna just plunge all the way in. Let's take the lead. This game's quickly becoming a Rose Bowl classic. Nailing the extra point and there's the lead. I think the scariest part is knowing that Oregon has all three timeouts and they're gonna take this one back on the return. Gonna give some cushion, but remember field goal range is the danger zone. It's not just about the touchdown. And they're moving pretty quick over here, my friend. Seems like quickly running the four verticals over and over. Huge sack. Shepley forces them to burn a timeout. And this stop is going to cause them to burn the last. I think they're officially in go for a home run territory. Here it is. Got our guys in the vicinity. It's over. Insane fear tech win. Knocking off the number one team in this bracket to get to the national championship game. Hawker keeps on humming. This is it. Number five, fear tech. Number 11, Clemson going for the trophy. All the critics wrote us off. You know what? We didn't write back. The fear tech scare pigs are here at the biggest stage. All for glory. All for Monstropolis taking on the Clemson Tigers. Hank the Tank, a pretty emotional coach in the locker room today, reminding his boys what it's all about and why we're here. For the first time since anyone can remember, Fear Tech is the choice school for monsters across the nation. Look at Blue and his balance. Just take this thing the distance. It's players like him that are going to get his jersey hung up in the rafters and guys like him that are bringing more prospective monsters to Fear Tech. Really good start. Encouraging work by the guys. Going to go out to Bacon here. He's just going to get rocked. Tank the Tank, normally really aggressive, but in the national championship game, you take three points when you can get it. Back and forth defensive battle. Three and outs, three and outs. Punt, punt, punt. 16, 14, Fourth quarter action. Need a stop here. Fourth down Clemson. They got their field goal and the one point lead. Just our turn to return the favor. Dumping it out to our trusty safety valve. Fourth and five. Big piece of the game right here. We got it off while getting hit. No way. Unbelievable grit and determination. Clemson defender in our face. Still got it off. And now Trusty's going to pick up a nine more. Underneath to the drag. Blue holds on. Remember that field goal we missed? Would have came in handy now, but we need at least a chip shot. I'm not taking no monster 50-yard bomb. So let's keep passing for now until we get more comfortable. Clemson clearly feeling uncomfortable. They burn a timeout, and we're in the driver's seat, folks first down. They still have one more timeout to give, but that right side of the field looks wide open. So let's stretch it that way. Follow some blocks. This is a very manageable field goal range. We're just looking for good positioning now. Third and three, looking to pick it up right underneath to bacon. Yes. As the clock continues to run, Trusty bounces off a tackler. I think I'll run a couple more plays to see if we can go ahead and get pay dirt because obviously nothing sweeter than a touchdown and assurance that you're going to win it. Timeout call. This is the final play. A 22 yard chip shot. You've got to be a clown to miss this one. So let me dial in right down the middle. Perfect accuracy. That's the ball game, folks. Fear Tech has just knocked out Clemson. And on that bittersweet kick to end this game, bring them out national champions storming the field in disbelief the confetti's falling from the sky 
Fear Tech, the premier choice for monsters in Monstropolis. Mike Wazowski is still a really good second choice, but how can you compete with Fear Tech who just won the national championship? Man, I had so much fun working with Hank the Tank at the coaching position. You could tell he really cared for his guys and motivated them every step of the way. Even when they were underdogs written out at the bottom of the American conference a handful of years back. Now's the time for me to say, if you haven't seen the Monsters University rebuild on my page, go ahead and check out that rebuild next so you can see how it was when we worked with Mike Wazowski. In this case though, it's been your boy King Sponge. I hope you're soaking up all these rebuilds and if you are, hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you in the next banger. Disney fans, Fear Tech fans, MU fans, that was for you.